Hello, welcome to the top 10 tech mods for Minecraft 119.2. We're going to be looking at both Forge and Fabric today. First mod I want to look at is called Large Fluid Tank. Adds a bunch of fluid tanks. You can already see a little bit here. So we can craft a simple wood tank, for example, and we could put a bucket of water in there. So when we break the tank, you can see it tells you the amount that's in the tank. Uh, we can then combine that with a bucket and we're going to get a reservoir. So this is a way if you wanted to fill up a, a larger tank, you could just do it all in one click. So I'll just fill up the reservoir there. And here's a stone tank. And it puts the whole lot in there. Uh, the tanks, as you can see, are available in very large sizes, including a creative tank. So let's have a look now at some of the other stuff we've got. We've also got this block, the chest as a tank. So you can have a chest as a tank as well. Okay, so I want to get some lava in here and I want to use some tanks to do it. So let's look at this, the fluid pipe. So we can put the fluid pipe on top there. And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to do, we're going to input into the pipe here. We're going to output out of the pipe there. And we're going to need some lava. So I have some over here. Let's take a look now. And there we go. You can see it's refilling constantly. Okay, so this mod itself is called Advanced Generators, one of the best generator mods in Forge. And what I'm doing at the moment is I'm taking lava and water and I'm making steam. And then all the steam, this is the output here. So I've got a bunch of steam constantly coming in. So what I might want to do then is get a steam turbine. So that will let me generate power from the steam. I can do that with this steam turbine. So I can put the steam turbine controller down, right click, it requires a turbine. So I'll put the turbine on this side and then we need to intake the fluid. And that is this stuff. So, and then we're going to input into the pipe and then output into the thing even jig. And there you see we've got steam and producing quite a lot of RF, current production, yeah, not bad. So this is actually going in the internal buffer. So don't really want that. Uh, luckily, I do have the flux generator. You could also try putting down a capacitor as well. So let's use the uh, this one. Uh, you can put them like in all different configuration. I could do it like that. You can basically go any way you want, really. Uh, let's take a look at that. You can see now uh, it changes the UI accordingly to what you might want to do that. At this point, we could look at another mod called Factorium. This is by the same developer as Advanced Generators. And this adds basically a bunch of cool machines that you might want to use. These are sort of standard machines that you see with a lot of tech mods, but uh, just because it's the same developer. So for instance, we could put our pump down here and you'll notice what happens with advanced generators. It does that. And you see, obviously we're getting some power and some water is coming in. Uh, if we take a look, we've got a different place to put a bunch of different upgrades, similar interface to advanced generators. And there's some interesting things, like for instance, there's a syngas generator. So you can see some of the upgrades, machine speed, processing, all this sort of stuff. Uh, similar to many tech mods out there. One of the things that I particularly liked about this though, was this uh, wet carbon dust cycle that we have here. So in the grinder, we'd put coal, that would turn it to ground coal. And then we can convert that ground coal, 1600 carbon into syngas. And there is actually a generator called the Syngas Generator in Advanced Generators, which is, is why it's kind of ideal to do this sort of thing. Uh, iron, coal, mixed steel as well. Uh, but in the mixer, water, this will obviously get you more yield, I would imagine. And then wet carbon dust, carbon dust. And then, yeah, you can see they're going to, that's a doubling process there. We're also going to get some extra Syngas. So, really cool tech mod this. Uh, and also, we can see we've got ore generation here. In, in the end and everywhere else. So a lot of fun stuff, glowing glass. Uh, definitely one of the sort of less known tech mods out there, I would say this one, but I wouldn't be surprised if it becomes pretty popular. Just does the sort of things you want. Got side config. Pleasant interface. Uh, can rotate blocks, can rotate stairs and stuff like that as well with the wrench. So all sorts of stuff that you might uh, you might want to see in this kind of mod. 
and also Glowcrete. Yeah, I mean, that is glowing concrete. Uh, platinum ore is also uh, available, so that is always quite rare platinum. So I'd have to look into this sort of thing. In the smithing table is where you do the steel plate with the platinum plate. All right, I've just placed down this one block from a mod called Energy Meter. So this mod, it has a bunch of different modes. You can see I can specify the sides. So at the moment, the back of it is getting an input. You can see that from the advanced generators. And the transfer rate is 500 FE a tick. You can confirm that here. And this has got a few different things. You can define the number formatting. And we've got the mode consumer or transfer. So the difference is the transfer would be just, it acts like a cable. So this is actually, you can actually use this as a cable. So that's kind of interesting. Um, so let's try and do that. Put it as a transfer as a cable. And let's try maybe putting one of those factorium machines in. What about this thing? So in consumer mode, it will just simply void all the energy. Um, but what we want to do is we want to output to the right. Okay, it doesn't do that, it voids, but if we change the mode now to transfer, now you can see we're transferring to the right. And it's transferring at a rate of 200 R for tick. Now the accuracy, a little bit more, let's also see if this retains the, its uh, buffer. It does. Let's get another one then. So you see, that's actually a more realistic. Uh, yeah, so that gives you a little bit more information. You can see how it builds up. So the energy meter is able to trash energy. And this can also do that, the energy trash can. But we've also got the uh, ultimate trash can, void items, fluid, and energy, or we can do them all separately. So let's take a look at an item trash can. And for this, we'll use the item pipe, because we haven't seen that before. So we've got some stone in there. And so we're going to input into the pipe, output into there. You can see it's taking it pretty slowly, actually. But that is going to put all those items into that. And the same will be true for fluids and anything else. So the other thing that you can do is we can blacklist certain items. So for instance, I blacklisted the stone. But if I put some barrels in there, it looks like it only pulls from the first slot, interestingly. So that is something you have to keep in mind as well when using this. We've got the Tesseract. So let's take a look at this. So Tesseract is basically a way to do wireless transfer of everything, items, energy, fluids. You can basically choose which channel you want. And in this situation, we're going to choose energy. And you can choose between send and receive, send only, receive only. So we'll do an energy of both send and... We'll do an energy channel of send only, actually. And this is going to be for our diamond furnace, which is going to be the next mod that we look at in a moment. But let's just work it out. So here's the diamond furnace. Uh, and activate. All right, so we've got the diamond furnace. This mod is from a mod called Better Furnaces Reforged. And I want to put this diamond furnace down. I would like to use... This looks like a, what I might want to use for this, right? the energy upgrade. So this is basically a way to have really powerful furnaces. Let's, uh, you know what, let's actually choose a different location, seeing as we've got... Let's see if we can install this right in the village, just for a little bit of a change of scenery. I'm going to put down our furnace, and we want to have this thing, the energy upgrade. So now you can see we've got a little bar here, which is what sounds good. And let's get another Tesseract, and see if we can receive on the same channel. Uh, so I want to, what I'd like to do is to receive here, activate. So we receive only and activate. And now the buffer is full. So that's actually uh, a good chance to see what we can actually do. Let's see how quickly we can, we can smelt some of uh, these guys. Not bad. It looks like actually, now I think about it, that, that probably we'd want to do it on something even better than this.
Yeah, it looks like uh, this is going to output on all sides. I'm not sure there's any config to change that here. Uh, so for instance, wow, that looks uh, complicated. Uh, what about if we put some strip token here? Well, that's quite a bit faster. Uh, what else do we have? Or input. We can actually change the color of the furnaces. Let's do like a green furnace for some reason. Uh, oh, we can actually toggle between the two, so that's cool. Wow, okay, that's cool. Change to a blast furnace or a smoker. Turns the resulting XP into liquid XP. You can specify some sidedness as well. Uh, fuel efficiency would be useful for using fuel. And double the amount that you meet each mountain. So you can use it for all doubling as well. But yeah, this is what I would use if I wanted to upgrade this diamond furnace. Right? There you go. So there becomes a nether hot furnace. And then fine, then we would have the extreme furnace here. Uh, so we can take a look at what that speed might be like as well. Uh, a few logs here. Much faster, right? It doesn't seem to be using, I mean, I've got a lot of energy coming in, but. So yeah, better furnace is reforged. Really cool mod that. Uh, we have a cobblestone generator. Let's look at that. Uh, this probably would obviously need some water uh, and some lava. Choices are, yeah, what you might imagine. Okay, now we're in fabric. I want to look at a mod called high speed rail. So this is a mod that lets you specify, depending on the block, how fast the minecart's going to go. And also gives you this interface here. So normally the fastest speed would be eight blocks per second. So there you go, you can see I went 40 blocks per second. All right, now we have a mod called Modern Dynamics. So this adds a item pipe and also fluid pipes. So let's put, you can see here I've got some item pipes in the chest, so I've connected them up. If I put this attractor here, and you can actually see the items in the pipe like that. We could then put an empty whitelist. Items are no longer coming out of the chest. We can change the stack size. We can also automatically extract the items. Let's take a look at that. So we'll automatically extract these items and we can use the wrench to get rid of that. So the items are automatically coming out. So it tells you something about the redstone control status, right? It's not high. Its default is ignored. And we've got some options to match various things here. Let's take a look at a filter as well, maybe. Uh, we can filter the items that are coming in. Also, if we take a look at the upgrades here, you can see that if we put in various upgrades, uh, advanced behavior available, if we put in a comparator, uh, filter slots, max moved items. Uh, so we can put in repeater, piston. Piston is going to increase the speed. And also, as we're going to get onto the final mod here, Tech Reborn, we can use some advanced circuits and electronic circuits to actually improve things as well. Let's just try one of those. Let's try a piston. I think it was a sticky piston, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Yep, put that in. Uh, let's try a hopper. You can see that increases the number of items there. Uh, and also the uh, stack size as well is increasing. So a bunch of cool stuff you can do with modern dynamics. And finally, to round off the video, Tech Reborn. So yeah, Tech Reborn, it's got a lot of cool stuff in it, right? You know, this is like a uh, storage drawer. You get all these input, or input, or output stuff. You can uh, do that stuff with that. LV transformer, yeah. If we just take a look at the word machine, we'll take a look. Standard machine casings. Uh, this is used to make some of the multi-blocks. Let's see if we can find some way to get uh, the advanced machine casing. Needs chromium. Uh, for chromium, you're going to need the blast furnace, a very important item early game. Uh, we can take a look at some of the uh, the industrial centrifuge is very useful. Uh, you can get, uh, see if we can find some, you need to get a lot of cells. Why get methane out of turtle eggs? There's obviously an absolutely huge amount of stuff in here. Chemical reactor, you need a bunch of those. It's in a way, it's kind of similar to um, mechanism a little bit. Uh, the distillation tower. They're kind of just basically big multi-blocks and you need machine casings. Fluid, uh, you can get UU matter. And there's even reactors as well at the end. The grinder, I remember, is, is basically one of the very early game. And I think there's two of them. Yeah. Basically, you upgrade this. This is basically a good way to understand the shift between um, the low tier and the beginning tier. So for this one, you basically need the basic machine frame. 
and for this you're going to need uh, more advanced stuff uh, and, and for the industrial grinder you need the advanced machine frame that needs alloys and we can take a look at the ingot here which is going to be the mixed metal ingot so a lot of stuff if you played with other tech mods uh, we can see also in later game you tend to be working with stuff like this nitro diesel and things like that uh, very powerful things that have come from probably distillation towers. The cell, the, some of the coolant cells uh, from the canning machine, titanium ingots. Uh, you need to get it from the dust extracted in the electrolyzer from aluminium stuff. Um, that's where you get some hydrogen cells as well. Also got the uh, quantum armor. So I put on the quantum armor just to have to take a look at it. Plus not, a lot of knockback resistance, a lot of armor, and a lot more speed right but yeah tech reborn though definitely one for fabric users to mess around with and it's a lot of fun so whatever you're using for your fabric is going to be a lot of good tech mods to play with so thanks for watching